I'm about to bury my cup. Oh, I'm so mean and get stuck. I don't drive R8s, I don't like those. I drive a big corner and I tell the windows. What's up you guys, my name is Marlon and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe as we're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. Also, if you're watching this video currently, there's probably about a 95% chance that you're not subscribed, so please make sure to do so. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for the support. You guys are awesome, but you already know this. Also, please make sure to leave a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite types of materials in my wardrobe, which is corduroy. I've been rocking corduroy for about a little bit over a year. And I remember just getting my first overshirt in corduroy and realizing how dope it was. Some of the things I love about corduroy is that it's a great alternative to things like denim. The great thing about it is that you can dress it up like in a suit but you can also dress it down and keep it very casual and you can also wear it in like a streetwear sense as well. I feel like corduroy is better than denim because denim has this rugged look that corduroy doesn't have. So you can really like wear full corduroy fits and look clean and look proper, you know, while it's a bit tougher to do that with denim. Also, another great thing about corduroy is that it works in basically three out of the four seasons which is fall, winter, and spring. Now, for the most part, I don't really wear corduroy in the summer because it's pretty thick, but there are some uh, lighter types of corduroy that you can wear and that looks great in the summer. But anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five tips on how to rock corduroy in your wardrobe. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the intro and get started. <laughs> So tip number one on how to rock corduroy is to have one item that has corduroy while the rest is other material and just other fabric. The great thing about corduroy is that it really tends to, to mesh well with other types of material, really any type. So you can really play around with it. So you do have a lot of options. It looks great either way. Usually what I'll do is I'll have either an overshirt that's corduroy or I'll have the pants. I'm gonna show you guys two different fits. The first one with the overshirt that's in corduroy. So in this outfit, what I did is I just threw on a simple black tee. Then I added a corduroy overshirt from Zara. In this case, you see it's a brick colorway. Not something that you see as much in terms of corduroy colorways, but I like it. Then I added some cargo pants from Boohoo and then just a regular pair of sneakers. So the goal with this outfit is to really make the corduroy item pop, you know, in terms of colors. So that's why I went with the brick colorway while the rest of the outfit is pretty neutral. So that's one way you could go about it. Another way you can go about it is having the corduroy item blend in with the rest of the fit. So in this case, I went very neutral, just all black fit, you know, black turtleneck, black corduroy pants, just a pair of Converse, something simple, some great colors to do that with to make sure that, you know, the corduroy item blends in with the rest of the outfit is colors like black, brown, those neutral colors, you know, maybe uh, a dark blue, like a navy blue. That's a good one as well. So that way, you know, you don't have to make the corduroy item pop, but the fabric itself and just the, the shine it kind of has, it just adds a bit of personality to your outfit. Now, in the first fit, as you saw, you know, I added a, a color that pops. So for that one, you can really rock whatever, you know, you can really have fun with it. What I like about corduroy is that they're making a lot more colors. So you can really rock any type of color and it's still gonna look good because it's corduroy, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just how it is, man. Now, tip number two on how to rock corduroy is actually finding full sets. So the great thing about corduroy is, as I mentioned, it's a lot easier to rock if you do corduroy on corduroy than let's say denim on denim. For corduroy, like you can really find anything. It's gonna look good because it, I don't know, it, it, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it's just a dope fabric. In this case, that's what I did, you know? I actually copped these two sets from Boohoo a while back. I did mention them in my uh, haul that I did a couple of uh, months ago. So if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, put it right there. So the first one is just a full brown set. Uh, so this this is actually something I could wear more in the summer because it is a lighter fabric. That's what I like about corduroy. It's very versatile. You know, you can have like the thicker one that you wear in the winter, for example. And then you have these that's, you know, kind of more flimsy and, you know, flowy that you can wear in the summer, which is nice. As you can tell, you know, it's easy to wear together, you know. And also you can split them up. But in this case, you know, for the sake of the outfit, I want to wear them together and just finish off the rest. Keeps it simple, you know, you can just wear like a simple white tee under it and it looks good. Now the second fit, same thing. So in this case, it's more of like a beige colorway 
Uh, really dope though, you know, and it looks good together. Just add in a t-shirt under it and you're good to go. You really have the option of doing the, the corduroy on corduroy. Like you can kind of like do the matchy matchy look. That's not something that I see often. Maybe it's because it's right now it's winter, it's super cold, but just in general, I would like to see more people do that. You know, I think, I think it's a look that, you know, you shouldn't neglect. So be on the lookout still. Tip number three on wearing corduroy is the fact that you can kind of mix and match the colors of corduroy and it still looks great, you know, if you plan on, on wearing them together. Now, obviously, you have to make sure that the colors that you choose uh, go well together, but that's in anything, you know, when you, whenever you're making an outfit, you know, you have to make sure the colors match. So overall, I just feel like it's a great way to kind of, you know, switch it up a little bit. That way you don't have to stick to like the, just the full set that's the same color. You can really just mix and match. So what I did in this case is I took the first fit that I showed you guys with the black turtleneck and the black corduroy pants with the Converse. And all I did is I added a sleeveless puffer jacket from Zara. I actually just picked that up. Well, my girl picked it up for me. You know, the funny thing is at first I saw it and I didn't know if I really wanted it. My girl was telling me to get it. I was kind of hesitant. I ended up getting it. I, I don't regret it. So I'm glad she like pushed me to get it because I'm now realizing that I can really wear it in a lot of fits and it's gonna look dope. So I can't wait for the spring so I can kind of pull it out and just show you guys uh, some more fits on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to do so, I'm gonna put it on the screen. As you can tell, you know, in this case, I have two pieces of items that are corduroy. So I have the sleeveless um, puffer jacket, then I add the black pants and I'm good to go. Tip number four is actually rocking corduroy with prints on them. With the trend and fashion kind of moving towards uh, more of like the prints on jeans, for example, and just looser cut jeans. What I've started to notice is a lot of corduroy with, you know, a bunch of designs and just different stuff on them. And I actually just copped a pair from Boohoo that I really liked. I'm gonna show you here. I'm looking forward to getting more of these, uh, but I think it's a great way to kind of uh, add some more flair to your, to your fit. Corduroy can be, you know, it's dope, but it can also be very neutral, very basic. So if you're someone like me that kind of likes to have an outfit that pops, you know, if you want to have a, an item in your collection uh, or in your outfit that, you know, kind of brings out the rest of the fit, then I think it's a great way to go about it. In this outfit, I have two items that are corduroy based. I have the sleeveless puffer jacket with a Boohoo beige hoodie under it. Same type of tone, so it looks good. Then what I did is I added the pants with the prints on them. Just a dope look, man, you know? So as you can see, the rest of the items are pretty simple. They all match in colors, but then just having that item that kind of pops, you know, because it has prints, because it has patterns on it, it just, it just adds something to the fit. So that's another way you can go about it. Tip number five on how to rock corduroy is to look past the, just the regular items, like, you know, the overshirts, the pants, and the jackets. You can also rock, you know, things such as hats. So in my case, I don't really rock that because I'm just not rocking hats right now. So I, I can't really show you an, an outfit with them, but I know it's a great way to add, you know, a bit of, just a bit of flair to your fit if you're interested. If you don't always want to be rocking some corduroy like in the rest of your outfit, you can always just throw on the hat and that's still a little something. So that's something to consider for sure. All right, guys, this was it for me. So these were five tips on how to rock corduroy in your wardrobe. I hope you guys like the advice. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a like as it makes a massive difference. Um, also, thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys because the watch time is important. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for me. My name is Marlon and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.